Hi everyone, in this video we are going to talk about how we can submit a catalog item via an incoming email in ServiceNow. So when we talk about incoming emails and submitting a catalog item, we have two options available. One is inbound email actions where we can write scripts and use certain APIs like Cart API and all to submit our catalog item. And the second and most convenient option that we have available as of today is the Flow Designer where we can pass our incoming email and fetch the body or the subject of the email and accordingly take action and submit a catalog item easily. So in this video we are going to talk more about the second option which is the most convenient one using the flow designer. So to make things easy and to save some of our time I have already created a catalog item which I am going to submit via an incoming email and in this catalog item I have created a couple of fields like requested by which will specify who is the sender of the email and a short description here I am going to fetch the subject of that email and the description where I am going to fetch the body of the email. So let's quickly jump on to the flow designer part. Now I'm going to click on new over here. Uh, let me give it a name. Everything else I'll keep as same and run as let's select system user and I'm going to click on submit over here. Now, first of all, I need to specify a trigger in my flow designer, which will trigger this flow. So what exactly my trigger in this case is an incoming email. So let's select that particular option, which is inbound email. And I can also give a specific condition over here, like for example, all the emails coming to a specific email ID. So let's do that so here i'm going to give the condition like all the emails that are coming to this particular instance so i've already formatted the email that i have to send just to save us some time uh, in real world what happens is every organization have their support help desk and when they plan to move to service now uh, with the help of the Microsoft or Google account teams, they redirect those emails coming to their support emails to the ServiceNow instance and accordingly they can take action. For example, support at the rate uh, the ultimate winner.com. And let's click on done. Now I need to add an action over here. So, what action I need to take over here is Submit catalog item request. Now I need to select which catalog item actually I want to submit when this email comes to the service now instance. And in the requested by, I can simply pull the user record from the email. From here, the data pills are available. And in short description, I'm going to pull the subject. And let's pull body in the description. I think this is more or less what I need for now. So now my email condition is there. Secondly, I am submitting a catalog item. Now what else could be required over here? Uh, let's say I want to see that email in my catalog task as well, but uh, we'll see how that works. First, let's test it out if this is working fine or not. So my flow is saved successfully. I'm going to activate it now. My flow is activated also. Now let me click on send button on this uh, 
email and let's see if this gets converted into a ticket or not. So I can monitor all the emails that are coming into my instance in this particular list. So far I have not received that email. So there it is, the email is received in the service now instance now. And let me add another column to specify whether it is getting associated with a target record or not. So this is the email. No, it is not getting associated with the target record so far. But we'll look at that front as well. First, let me open the. Request items that I have in this instance, and this is the latest one. So I can see the variable list over here, but I do not see that email in the activity list. So let's verify the available fields also. And let me add that send or receive email. So this is how we can enable all the emails on the form in the activity list so that we can see what email came and what went outside. Okay, so it is not associated with the uh, ITM. Let's check the catalog task. Okay, so our description says testing inbound action. Description says please scroll to the activities to check the actual email. This, uh, just to let everyone know that this is configured in the workflow itself. There was a workflow that I created in the backend for the demo catalog item. And if I see here, okay, sent received emails is included, but still I cannot see the email in the catalog task also. So let's go back to our flow and uh, let's make sure that the email is visible in the activities list also. For let's say catalog task. So not what uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to check if a task exists for this particular catalog item that was submitted. And the request item is this one. Let's click on done. And I am going to update the email record now. So this is my email record, so let's drag and drop it here. And I want to update the target. And the target is my catalog task record. So let's try to drop it here. And I can also update the target table. We'll verify if it is works. Or we will have to pass the society specifically. Done. Save. And activate. My flow is activated successfully now. Let me go back to my email inbox and I'll click on send again. Let's see how it works this time. I have not received that record yet. Refresh. No, 
let's wait for a couple of minutes. So there it is. Here my other team is created. And if I open it, let's go to the task. Since we updated the email on the task, variable values are fine. It says please scroll. Let's scroll. So this is my email which was sent from my email id to the service now instance and a catalog item is submitted and we can also see the email attached to the task now let's hop to the emails module and we'll see the difference so let's do show matching on the recipient list so this was my previous email where the email was not getting attached to the ticket created in the backend and this is the recent one where I can also see the catalog task which is updated in the target field. So this is how we submit a catalog item via an incoming email with the help of a flow designer. Uh, thank you for watching.